Hey everybody, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really cool guest joining us. This is my nephew, Scotty. Hi guys. So for today's video, we're going to be showing you three different drills that you can work on at home with your kids. This is going to be really fun because I know a lot of kids are at home from school right now and we want them to do some more training. What I'm going to use today for all of these drills is a really cool pad from Century Martial Arts. It has a foot on the front and then on the back it has all different types of kicks that are good for your kids to learn. It just kind of helps with the visual part of it and it makes for some really fun drills. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below if you want to check this out. Are you ready to start in the drill, Scotty? Yes, ma'am. Awesome, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna review the different kicks that you can use doing this pad. If your parent at home, it tells you which way you can hold for which kick. Key up, ah, whoa, he almost pushed me over. One more, ah, wow, he's strong. Okay, now, Scotty, what if I turn it sideways like this? Can you show me a side kick? Yeah. Ready, go. Ah. Good, but the toes are pointing which way? Yes, you gotta use the other foot. Ready, go. Ah. Nice, and you make sure that you keep your hands up and in. Ready, go. Ah. Nice, one more. Try and get it right on the foot. Ah. Perfect, okay. Next one, if I hold it sideways like this on my stomach, I want you to use a roundhouse kick. Ready, go. Good, now how about your hands? And ah, yeah. ready, go. Ah. Nice, one more, ready, go. Good job. All right, so Scotty did awesome showing me the three different types of kicks that we're gonna be using for the drill. The push kick, the roundhouse kick, and the side kick, okay? Now we're gonna do, use them in three different drills. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Okay, so this drill is called spin and kick. For spin and kick, you're gonna need something just like a ring. Century does make these, so I'll leave the link in the description below. If you don't have one, you can easily make one at home with tape or something similar. And what we're gonna do is, Scotty, you're gonna be in a fighting stance. Ready? Fighting stance. Yeah! Okay, Scotty's gonna spin around three different times in the ring. Ready? Go. Spin. One, two, three. And then fighting stance. Yeah! yeah. As soon as he gets there, I'm going to put the pad up and I'm going to have him do one of the kicks that we practice. Okay, ready and go. Ah. Nice job. Okay, this is really good drill because it's going to make sure that they're practicing their control after they spin. They have to jump into that fighting stance and they have to have a fast reaction time to figure out what kick they're doing on the pad. Let's try a couple more. Ready? Spin. One, two, one more. Three. Fighting stance. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Round has to go. Nice job. One more. Ready? Spin, spin, spin. Three times. One, two, and three. Fighting stance. Side kick. Ah! Yeah. Nice job, Scotty. Give me a high five. He was awesome. All right. For this next drill, we're going to keep on using the same foot pad, but this time we're going to have Scotty work on his balance while he's kicking. So instead of just standing on the floor, you can grab another pad if you have one. You can grab a pillow or something to just make it unstable. Bosu balls work great. Just make sure it's something safe and there's a safe environment around you in case your child falls. Okay, Scotty, I want you to stand on the pad, please. Very good. Show me a fighting sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this time we're gonna practice those kicks. I'm gonna put them in front of you. You have to show me the right kick and try and not fall off the pad. Ready? I'm gonna stand up. Ready? And push kick. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Keep your hands in. Ready? Hands up, hands up like this. Ready? Roundhouse kick. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, roundhouse kick. Remember? Other leg. Ready? Go. Ah! Yeah. Nice job. Okay, last one. Show me that fighting stance. Okay, ready? We're gonna do a side kick. Ah! Yeah. Ah. Nice job. Now remember, at home, Scotty's going to keep his hands super close in while he's kicking, even working on balance. Ready, go. Ah. Oh, he crashed. Sometimes your students will crash and that's okay. It just makes it more fun. Okay, let's see if you can do it without crashing. Ready, hands up and fighting stance. Show me that side kick. Do not fall. Focus, focus. Ah. Yes, give me a high five. That was awesome. Okay, for this last drill, it's called duck and kick. So what you're gonna need is something like a foam noodle or anything soft at home that you can use to make sure that your kids duck. Okay, Scotty, I want you to show me a fighting sense. Ah! Yeah. All right, show me a good duck. Keep your eyes on me and keep your hands up. Ready, duck. Perfect, one more time, ready, hands up, duck. Nice job. 
So what we're gonna do is make him do a duck, which is kind of like a squat. Then when he stands up, he's gonna have to show me that side kick again. Okay, Scotty finding sense. Aya. Yeah. All right, so when I do this, you're gonna duck down. And then when you stand up, you're gonna do the side kick. Yeah. Nice job. Okay, ready? Let's do two more, ready? Duck, kick. Yeah. Oh, you hit me. Gotta keep the hand, I mean the foot right here. Ready? Let's try it again. You ready? Focus, focus, duck and kick. Nice, one more, one more, ready? Duck, kick, ah! Yeah. Nice job. All right, guys, I hope that gives you some different ideas of how to work on martial arts with your kids at home. Scotty, were those drills fun today? Yeah, they were pretty awesome. Awesome. All right, make sure that if you guys wanna see more videos with Scotty, leave a comment below and we'll make some more videos. Is that fun? Bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. Have fun training at home, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.